what's up everyone so today you are about to witness an amazing operating system this is called nixos this is my number one number two is arch linux and number three all the other operating systems i don't really care about so let me just introduce you to uh, nixos all right so this is the official website of nixos and if you scroll down a little bit you will find these terms reproducible declarative and reliable let's take one by one and let's try to understand what these are right now i'm at etc nixos directory and here i can do ls we have a bunch of files but don't get overwhelmed all you need to worry about here is configuration.nix and hardware configuration.nix even this one right here you don't have to create or edit this will be automatically generated at the installation process so let's jump to configuration.nix file i'll jump to the top and let's scroll down so this is how you would install a bootloader you don't have to install it you don't have to configure it manually and let's go down to set the host name you don't have to edit a file that will be done automatically at the installation process you just put this configuration and it will be automatically done to enable a network manager you don't have to install the package and start the service that will be done automatically once you have this configuration right here to set this time zone you don't have to link a uh, time zone file to etc local time that will be done automatically i think you get the idea i'll just stop by showing the user configuration here i have created a new user and i have assigned a new shell as the default shell for that particular user this is my primary group group of the user and we have secondary groups for that particular user and these are the user applications that this user has access to i think you get the idea we pretty much define everything in the configuration and nix os or nix package manager will do the rest right now let's talk about reproducibility i'll take an example let's say you have application x and application y both of them are depending on this shared library a now the thing is x is depending on a 1.0 while y is depending on a 2.0 now we have a conflict of shared libraries now what is the approach of nix os or rather nix package manager to resolve that issue well let me show you that i'll just ls here and grep firefox as you can see in front of each and every package we have we have a hash so based on the input and outputs we have a completely new hash in front front of the package so let's say we have x and y packages and they will be isolated from each other with a hash so we have a 1.0 in a separate package from a 2.0 so because of that there will be no conflict x will be using a 1.0 while y will be using a 2.0 so each and every package is isolated everything is reproducible meaning if something is breaking on my machine it will break on your machine if something is working on my machine it will be working on your machine so that's great all right now let's talk about reliability i'll take an example let's say we are upgrading ubuntu system and suddenly there is a power cut so um what basically apt does is it's getting rid of old stuff and putting in new stuff we are mutating the existing system now in case something happened to a critical file or a service then you might not be able to log into your system anymore in nixos we don't really mutate stuff we only create new stuff so if you have a new version we are going to create a new version of it with a new hash we always have the previous build or builds in our back pocket so in, if something catastrophic happened we can boot into a previous build right from the boot menu and moreover since we have a declarative configuration we can version control that that's what i have done here so all my NixOS configurations are pushed to the GitHub. Now, in case something happened, I can always revert the commit and rebuild my system. 
so that's that option is always there i think that's a huge plus in the next video i'll be installing mixos in a virtual machine and we are going to do it the hard way because we are nerds and sometimes it's fun to do things the hard way so until then thanks for watching have a nice day